Hi everyone, it's me again, Sandy of Sandy Solutions and welcome back to my channel where I teach you create seamless digital content for your brand and business. So for today's video, I'll be talking about branded email signature and how you can easily create one. So this is my current email signature. As you can see, it has my brand colors, it has Canva logo and a banner or a call to action for something that I promote, which is the 45 days of free Canva Pro. So um, I've actually created this with the help of an online email signature generator. It's easy to use. You just need to fill in your information and then it comes in with a lot of layouts with pre-made templates as well. And what's great about this is that they come in on a free subscription, which allows you to create one email signature. Then you can go ahead and upgrade to Pro if you have like an employee that you wanted to share with the same, you know, or cohesive email signature. And because email signature is actually really helpful because it helps you brand your every email that you send and an email signature accompanied by your company logo or contact details makes you look more legitimate and establishes who you are as a brand or as a business or as a company so in a way it actually creates some sort of brand recognition among your contacts and to whom you send email with so now let's go ahead and jump into my signature so I can walk you through how I created this email signature right here. And here we go. All right, so this is my signature's homepage. So I'm going to blog out first because and log back in to make sure I'm logging to my very own account. There we go. Okay, so now I don't have any email signature right now, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. So. When you click create a new email signature, it will give you an option to start from scratch, meaning to say you create your own layout, your own design. And they also have re ready to use um, templates right here. If you, if, you know, if you think you cannot come up with a very good layout, then they have a pre-made template to help you get started. And it comes in with variation. So they have like friendly email signature templates there's also some professional and modern elegant creative and free all right so on this recording what i'm going to do is to walk you through and how to create it from scratch so that i'll be able to tackle every feature feature that they have so to get us started your page will look like this this is where you fill in your information and by default this is um the default layout but you can change this later on if you want to so first let's just go ahead and fill in my details so i'm going to use my name right here company sandy solutions position i'll just say owner for mobile, I'll just use 555555555, something like that. And for my website, I'm going to use my www.sandysolutions.com, which is my website. I'm going to add my email address as well. Oops. I'm going to leave my address. I don't also need to put in my Skype, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Then you could also add a custom field. So let's just say, for example, you wanted to add another link. So probably in my case, I'll put Canva. So you guys can follow me on Canva so you can easily access templates that I've designed for Canva um, template library. So I'm just going to put in here... Um, I'll just use my username, which is uh, Sandy Sevilla Official. And then the link would be Canva 
sorry, canva.com slash Sandy Sevilla official. All right, there you go. So that's already been added. You can add more if you want to, but for sampling purposes, I'll just put one um, custom field right here. Then we move on to images. So this is where you can upload your photo or your logo. And you can also add a banner. So I'm going to use a logo here. So let's just go to my to my folder. Oh, sorry, my full. I have a lot of folder. Okay, let's just say I'm going to put my photo right there. Oops, this is actually a very small photo. No, not that one. Sorry about that. And just pull up a logo real quick. Okay, so let's just use this one. Then you go ahead and adjust and apply. So there you go then you can add a link if you want to so i'm gonna add my website okay now for banner what i really like about my signature is they have an option to to design your own banner in canva with just one click so you go ahead and you can upload your own banner if you already have a banner created or start again from scratch using canva and there you go now all you have to do is just log into your um, canva account i'm gonna log in right now and it will open a new window where you can create a banner so they have pre-made templates let's just use a pre-made template for sampling purposes to you know okay so let's just use something Oh, okay this is my template <laughs> it's one of a template of the template that i've designed for canva so feel free to use it okay so let's just say i'm going to use okay my own template <laughs> okay, there you go and then there you have it okay so and then once you're done designing your banner i'll have to just click save And just wait for it to successfully load into my signature and there you have it okay now you can also add a link since this is like a CDA so you can also adjust your banner size and then you can add a link so probably probably um, the link to your landing page where they can download your freebie for free and then you can now move ahead to social so this is where you add your social media link so you can say follow us or you can say let's connect all right and then Facebook so I'm just gonna type in www.facebook.com slash sandy solutions okay I don't have a Twitter and I'm not really a user of LinkedIn so I don't want them but I have Instagram instead so I'm gonna put in um, www.instagram.com slash Sandy Solutions and I also have a YouTube so I'm gonna put in there youtube.com slash Sandy Solutions all right, there you have it. Okay, so you can add more if you have more social media um, platforms that you want to promote. So just feel free to choose any um, social media icon right here. So they have Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, and others. So now let's move forward to this one, add-ons. Okay, so for add-ons, you can add a CTA, a call to action, a video conference, a sign off or a disclaimer right there and you can so it's confidentiality disclaimer data protection 
they even have GDPR so you can just easily edit your name right here and they have there if you want to create a custom one then just go ahead and type it right here on your text field all right so let's just say I'm gonna use confidentiality and the font is already font size is already set on extra small okay for the width you can also adjust that so let's just say I'm gonna go all the way to 800 pixels all right, then you can also add other available add-ons like event and calendar, but I wanted to keep my email signature, you know, simple and direct to the point. So I'm going to skip um, calendars, but you can certainly add that. They even have um, green message that, oh, it's so cute. Okay, so let's just take that out video conference so if you wanted to you know like schedule if you wanted your audience to set a schedule with zoom meeting then you can add it right here it looks so cute okay so i'm just gonna take that off as well because as i've mentioned i wanted my email signature to be simple and clean now we go to the design so right now the default font colors is this one green but i wanted to change it into my brand color so you can actually change put in just you can just easily put in the hex code right here let me just pull up my hex code all right so this is my brand color so i'm going to choose this color right here to match the logo that i have with my email signature so change i'm going to change the font color to this one there we go the social um, icons you can also change the sizes you can adjust it let's just put it back to 22 and then for the shape you can also you know change it like this one so you can have round icons or just a square one so I'm gonna maybe put it to number two okay then the style you can have this one or the branded one or this one so I'm gonna change my icon background into my brand color again which is this one and then the icon color yeah i just want it to stay as is which is color white then now we can change the layout so right now this is the def uh, the default layout and you can actually change it to something like this or this one or this one they have a lot of layouts available so let's click view all layouts so they have something like this this maybe i'll go with um sorry it's so hard to choose i'll just probably go with this one right here okay i like how simple that is there we go right now once you're done you can actually by the way change the fonts the font family right here and the font size to probably i wanted it to be smaller so I'll probably change it to 80 percent all right there you go okay now once you're done designing your email signature all you have to do is just save the signature and once that's saved you can easily plug this into your email client so for example you wanted to install it on a gmail or a g suite just click gmail and it will give you the guide on how you can install it if you have outlook apple mail yahoo thunderbird iphone ipad outlook so or you can also have the html code you can also have the html code so this my signature actually works pretty much with um all of the um email client so i'll have gmail right here so it says um generate email signature using the editor which is already done then click on copy the clipboard um, button so i was just going to copy that 
and then you open your Gmail and you go to settings. So all you have to do is just go to settings of your email and put it under your email signature settings. All right. Well, um, I hope you find this video helpful. Again, don't forget to click like and subscribe and let me know if you have other questions. Just drop in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.